guys, Youngblood with you, and today I wanted to cover a little bit of piracy, you know, different types of piracy-related gameplay, and just some other thoughts on the topic. Now, there seems to be some misconceptions on both sides of the fence when we start talking about different types of gameplay and how they're going to go down. And what this really is centering on is going to be piracy versus murdering versus griefing. Um, and really, piracy at the core is about robbery, which is taking goods from a person through violence or threat of violence. So there's really this focus on actually attaining goods by either forcibly disabling a ship, boarding it, and taking what you want, or ideally for the pirate, and probably for the other person, just the threat of force. Now, either way, you're not out to really cause harm, you're out to steal goods. Now, that doesn't mean that robbery isn't going to get violent, and it very well may, especially if you don't end up cooperating. Now, in most instances, I would assume that a real pirate would rather just threaten you, take your goods, and be on their way. Now, there are other factors there to consider, though, like the reputation system that we're going to have in-game that's going to apply some different levels to this. You know, if you're able to conduct an act of piracy in totally unmonitored space, murder your victim, and then there aren't any witnesses, which means you don't then become wanted, then you may see things like pirates being more murdery um, and making that more of a practice if there is a reporting option where like, a survivor is able to report the robbery to authorities. Now, those types of things are going to have an impact on how things will go down in the game, but at the end of the day, the real focus there is on the items that they're stealing, not the intention of killing somebody. Now, in that same category, you're going to have people that are going to kind of want to do like stealing, they're going to have people that want just the cargo, and you're going to have one of people that want the ship and the cargo, and I think that's going to depend on the amount of people that are engaging you. A solo pirate is probably not going to want to steal your ship as well, because then they're going to have to leave theirs behind, and chances are they're probably only going to be going after ships um, that they can actually engage and actually probably kill, so the value of their own ship may be higher, so it's going to be a little bit more complicated there. Now, similar to piracy, you're going to have uh, marauding, which is really more about roaming around looking for goods to steal. But those aren't people who are real interested in the violence act. You know, this might be for those who are looking for like unsecured outposts on planets or sneaking into a parked merchant man to grab what they can. That's really more about stealing than violence. Um, but the difference is, is that violence isn't on the table at all. Um, anonymity, profits, and thrills are really more exciting than the pure focus of getting the job done no matter what for a marauder. Now, sounding similar to marauding is going to be murdering and headhunting. Now, there's, there's kind of a few reasons why people may end up going out with just the kill in mind. And sometimes it may actually end up being strategic. You know, maybe you're wanting to cause an increase in security in the system for some reason. Or maybe you're wanting to see the politics impacted. Or maybe you're trying to, you know, get an organization to strike back to in, end up like inciting a large battle. You know, maybe your organization is selling ore in one area, but the supply of ore in that area is high. So your profits end up being lower. So instead of going to a different system to sell your stuff, maybe you want to keep this as your home base. So then you set out to murder and destroy any ship that's carrying ore in the area, which then is going to drive up demand and profit profits in that system. You know, there's some real reasons why people may take up this kind of strike force mentality to end others' lives, um, and it may not necessarily just because they want to be a dick. I mean, it might even be that they're just out for revenge based on something you or your organization did in the past. There's motivation behind it. Now, on the other side of that spectrum is griefers, um, and they're out for, you know, some reason, which I honestly do not understand in the slightest, is because they get enjoyment out of stealing your enjoyment. Now, you're going to be coming across these people, and we're just going to end up having to find ways to deal with them. These are going to be the people that are crashing into you at landing pads, or shooting you for no reason when you're at a landing pad, or maybe lying in wait with a sniper rifle to kill you the second you walk off of your ship, or to pick on new players in a Mustang Alpha while they're in their decked out Redeemer. The list of griefing could go on and on and on and on. The important thing to take away from that is, though, is that they aren't in it for the gameplay or benefits to their in-game character. They're purely looking to get a reaction out of you and knowing that you're having a bad or a worse day based on their actions. So with all of that out of the way, I think the important thing to note here is, is that there's some very important distinctions between these types of players and that piracy in the game does not equal griefing. So whether you like to admit it or not, piracy is an important gameplay direction that has to be present in our universe. 
You may not like pirates, you may even hate pirates, um, but what they add to the game is a certain level of emergent gameplay, excitement, depth, and it adds to things like the war between good and evil. Uh, it allows for more in-depth missions, it allows people with combat in mind to take on a protector role, kind of going in the full escort instead of having to go out and find fights. It allows for things like bounty hunting to be present. It just adds so much depth, I can actually almost appreciate pirates. It's really easy to feel like you're being picked on, but it's a part of a much bigger picture to what it means to everybody's overall gameplay. Now, I think when it comes to dealing with pirates, you're going to need to try and identify what type you're going up against as quickly as possible to decide what options you have available. If someone jumps in immediately opens up communications, chances are they're a standard pirate. Unless the message is something kind of trolly, um, then you may end up having a griefer on your hands. Now, you know, one pirate is, you know, like is likely to jump in and say something like, you know, disable your engines and shields and you're going to, you won't be fired upon, prepare to be boarded or prepare to be scammed, you know, something like that. You know, in that instance, you then have to kind of weigh your options again. What are you carrying? What ship are you in? What ship are they in? Are they alone? Can you run? Can you win? It becomes a formula in your head. So like Rain Man, you got to crunch the numbers. If you can win the fight and their request is unreasonable, take action. You know, if you can outrun them and not take a whole lot of damage, see you later. Get out of dodge. It gets trickier if you're unable to run and unable to win. You know, think about like an Aurora CL versus a Cutlass. You know, you're probably better off talking. You, you know, you may even be able to negotiate depending on the, the type of player that it is that's engaging you to maybe pay less or give up the goods but get escort out of the system. Something like that. Um, another way it may go down is that you may just be immediately engaged. And again, it comes down to an analysis of the situation. If they're hitting you with distortion cannons or an EMP, they may just be trying to disable your ship so they can do what they want without your opposition. If this was a marauder, um, I would, or um, you know, if this was a murderer, I guess I would be expecting larger weapons aimed on destroying the ship as opposed to disabling it. So you have to kind of decide what's hitting your hole, what the impact of your ship is, and go from there. Again, if you can't run or win, talk. What are you doing? Why are you shooting me? What are you after? Can we resolve this? It may not work, and you won't fly real well while you're trying to type it all out. But if you're going to lose the fight anyways, see what you can do. Now, if the pirate wants your ship and your cargo, maybe you can negotiate a couple of things, like maybe being able to drop a beacon to help other people find you, or maybe you can give them info with your cargo to keep your ship. You know, things get a lot harder for you if you lose your ship. So, you know, try and learn some dis diplomacy or middle ground options. Now, identifying a murderer versus a griefer is going to be tough. They both want you dead, <laughs> but the reasons are going to be different. But do the reasons really matter? Not really, because chances are they're pretty committed to you dying. So you're either going to fight and you're going to run, um, and you're either going to win or you're going to lose. Now, your ship doesn't matter. Your cargo doesn't matter. You dying is what matters. So pick the option that works best for the situation that you're in. Drop a beacon for help and do your best to survive until backups get there. At the end of the day, people are going to play the less than lawful options because they want notoriety or they find it fun or they want to be known as effective or ruthless or cunning or even funny. But it's going to happen. So the best advice I can give is learn how to avoid it from the beginning, utilize escorts to keep you safe, know how to identify who you're going up against, um, you know, try and get the trade lanes in place, fly with escorts, and above all, remember that as mad as they make you, they're a really important thing to have around in the universe. So I'm going to be doing more videos on piracy here pretty soon and how some of these missions and things may end up going down in a little bit more detail. Uh, but in the meantime, stay tuned for more. Get any comments in down below and have yourselves a wonderful day. Take care.